The Way of Fire and Ice uh, by Ryan Smith, The Living Tradition of Norse Paganism. So at the beginning, you're getting like the contents and an exercise list. So it tells you like, so basically a table of contents of the exercises. So like, it introduces, he introduces you to the Norse pagan world, the gods, which is basically an introduction to them. So developing a spiritual practice, core values, uh, rune lore. With the core values, they're looking at fundamental, personal, social, uh, and a worthy life. The runes, it goes through the runes and uh, a bit of meaning. The art of Seor, S-E-I-O-R, the O has a certain accent on it. Um, finding and building community, which are their own chapters. So, in the first appendix, he does give you um, some further reading. Uh, so, um, books, websites, sagas, that type of thing. And the second appendix is the origin of the pagan revival. So there's that. So um, reconstructionists and he heathenry, reconstruction heathenry and um, theodism, northern tradition, paganism are discussed throughout the book. Well, um, in parts of it. So you're getting information about like the world tree, the cycle of reality, um, sacred space, old Norse poetry, oath making. So where to look and what to look for in finding community. So, um, it's, in this book, it's more informative, more information than personal opinion. That's how I'm looking at it anyway, when I've read it. So, if you are a person who has an interest in Norse traditions, Nor Norse paganism, this is something to look into. And, yeah, The Way of Fire and Ice. Happy readings.